Hello YouTube, Joe Holbrook here, the cloud tech guy. I wanted to go ahead and talk about Google Cloud Platform. So I just did a video on my top five reasons to use Google Cloud. So I figured I'd follow it up with my top five reasons not to use Google Cloud. And so as a cloud architect, I run into what I would call frequent logistical challenges. And some of those are around how a vendor supports you. Some of those are around how well you can get trained in the subject area. Some of those are just trying to get the right answer even off of Google for crying out loud. And so again, you know, it is what it is, is sort of the answer I, I sort of tell folks. And and even though, <clears throat> excuse me, just getting off a little bronchitis here, a lot of customers have been asking me as well as students, why would I want to use Google? Or why do I want to use Amazon? Or why would I want to use Azure? And the question is, is it depends. So let's go ahead and figure out if Google Cloud is a good choice for you. Now, again, the number one reason for me is, you, you know, I just don't, Google really has an image problem. I mean, between all the censorship and all the um, lack of marketing or good marketing, I should say, that they have, they, they really have an image problem and plus you know Gmail and Gmail for work and education etc Google really hasn't marketed towards the enterprise they really don't have a sales team that's competent with the enterprise and I know this because I've had the opportunity to get involved with doing training for GCP and I'll be and, and not to mention I got offered a whopping 142 to move to San Jose to be a Google Cloud architect for Google. Yeah, what a freaking joke. So, anyways, I'll be very honest. Um, you know, Google just is an enterprise. They don't market themselves well. I, I think they have a great product. You know, 80% of their solutions is very good in the cloud platform. It's just that their marketing sucks. It just, they just suck. Um, and a lot of them, my customer base, you know, they, they just, you know, don't think of Google Cloud Platform as enterprise. And that, that's just a fact. Number two, the documentation is abhorrent. They got to get away from this Google Drive and Google format that they have. Get to PDF. I mean, you know, deal with it. Suck it up. You know, people want PDF. Uh, also, too, developers, you know, you have to be a developer to understand the workflow. Now, Google, they do a really technical, detailed um, process flow for a lot of their, you know, platforms like for, uh, what is PHP, Node.js. I mean, it's great if you're a developer. But if you're not, you know, if you're the average Joe admin or architect, you're like, I don't want to read this. I just want to know what I have to click to set this up. Number three. Okay. I mean, let's be real. Education and training. Their training material, at least the first two releases I've seen. I've attended classes. I've been through the training. I've paid for some of that myself. And as well as that, I've been put through it. I can tell you right now, I walked away from Google Cloud training because I think the education material is, is well, what I want to say, be nice, uh, could be better. It's poorly written. It is not enterprise materials. The certification exams were written just abhorrent. Uh, they were just horrible. I was furious I wasted my time taking these exams. My $120 for the beta or $200 to take uh, the uh, release. So the exams had numerous and I, you know, of course, spent about half hour of my time writing 
issues into the exam. You want to look at this. You want to update this. This is incorrect. So the certification exams are poor. They need to talk to CompTIA and get some help because it's not enterprise. And, and I'm okay. I've asked Google to reach out to talk to me. They don't care. You know, they don't care. They're just their little teenagers sucking on their free food over at the cafeteria. It is what it is. And I'm just being honest because you have a good product with just a horrible marketing and education um, process that they have. It, it's abhorrent. It's embarrassing. Now, number four, this is a problem. I had a customer who actually has done a, a POC with GCP. The problem is, is they could find 100 people that know Amazon, 70 people that know Azure, and no one that knows Google. Or anyone that knows Google that wants to work for $40 an hour. It is what it is, folks. So again, Google has some enterprise challenges. That's the truth. Number five, support has never been good. Um, developers, there's all kinds of rants on the internet. I had an issue probably about a year and a half ago when I was playing around. And instead of getting an answer, they would send me to a document that actually wasn't there. So again, the, the support is, is, is again, limited um, whether you pay for it or not. A lot of bugs with these SDK kits as well. Um, but again, they have a rock solid product for their machine language. Um, from what I understand from my experience and people I've talked to, as well as um, you know a lot of the development areas as well there's definitely work there another issue too that I've seen I didn't add it was app engine loads pretty slowly um, I think they've made improvements on it but again it's you know it's no Amazon I'll, I'll be direct and blunt and and uh, truthful about it so those are my top five. I, I really do hope you reach out. Let me know what you think. Anything that you've ran into, I'd like to know. Again, you know, I think if I rated Google on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give them a 6 right now. If they attended to their education, support, and marketing, I think they get up to 8. And then support, you know, like issues like SDK and then getting the word out and getting the skill sets developed would uh, would definitely help Google Cloud Platform. Now, they have a leadership. Again, they hired that. Um, uh, I forgot her name. She came from uh, VMware. Again, she's got some good business skills, but again, they need to hire the technical people that uh, know the technical areas but also some business people that can market again they got some challenges Amazon is going to eat their lunch until they invest they take some of their billions and and do some actual significant marketing with it so that's my thoughts uh, I don't know you know um, how how they're going to turn out I do know from market share um, you know, Google has increased market share, there's no question. But again, you, you know, they've taken on other uh, other uh, new logos, customers like Disney, for example. But of course, you don't know the real extent of what they're doing. You know, are they using Gmail? And again, they include, you know, Gmail and uh, Enterprise, Google Enterprise for work and stuff into the market share. That's from what I, I've been looking into. So again, you don't know what the real number for GCP is in App Engine. You don't know what the real breakdown is. But I doubt it's more than 5 or 8%. That's just my thought. I don't know that for a fact. Um, I, I do know that uh, they got some work to do. They have a good solution. I just think uh, you know they, they need to invest more. With that said, uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, check out my video here about the top five reasons to use Google Cloud and please do follow up on YouTube and steam it happy clouding I'm also going to be putting out a couple new Google Cloud boot camps 
I'm almost there. But again, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to get the right information. So I give an unbiased uh, approach and you can't get it from anyone at Google. It's like I'm shuffled between teenagers for crying out loud. So again, I guess I just have to, you know, tell it like it is. And, uh, you know, when you do take the exams, you'll, you'll be surprised because the education content does not really cover some areas like migration transition with that they test you on as well as some of the um i think it was no js scripts that just came out of nowhere um with that set so carry on happy youtube and good to see you again